Joining us right now for this exclusive is forensic pathologist and neurologist and author of the new memoir, Truth Doesn't Have a Side, Dr. Amalo. Good to see you, doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So your new book is set to raise awareness of CTE. Tell us about the issue, the problem, and why this is just becoming more, people are becoming more aware of this just in recent years. Well, I think in 2002, when I did the Mike Webster autopsy, that was a game changer. And after the movie Concussion, many parents from all over the world were reaching out to me with so many questions, parents with injured or brain damaged children. So I chose to tell the story of the journey of my faith, the journey of my science, and the journey of my life to help each and every parent in the United States and all across the world to answer this question. Do you love football more than you love your son? Do you love football more than you love your son? And when you read my book, if you love football more than you love your son, it will give you solace. If you love your son more than you love football, it will give you peace. But the, but the fundamental issue is knowing what we know today, there is no justifiable reason why a child under the age of 18 should engage in the high-impact high contact collision sports. Yeah. The big six are football, ice hockey, mixed martial arts, rugby, boxing, and wrestling. If your child plays any of these contact sports, there is a 100% risk exposure to brain damage. And this brain damage could manifest sometimes one, two, three, four, five, ten years later, up to 40 years later, wow. with a constellation of symptoms. We are having less children. The fertility rate is dropping. So our children are becoming more precious commodities. When we expose these children to contact spots and they receive repetitive blows to their head, we are undermining their intelligence. We are making them less competitive in the global economy. Yeah. And in fact, there was a paper that came out from Sweden in 2016. It shows that the impact of concussions in sports undermines the American GDP right. by $1.1 trillion over 30 years wow. because of the diminished intelligence and the lost productivity of yeah. these children when they become adults. And we, and we have an NFL star here on set with us right now, Jack Brewer. I just want to mention, Jack, that the same study that we mentioned earlier showed 48 out of 53 deceased former college players and 3 out of 14 former high school players tested positive for CTE. So, Dr. Bennett, you're right. I mean, you, you made headlines last week when you said youth football is, quote, the definition of child abuse. People don't realize these young people are also exposing themselves to this risk. Yes, as a physician, I must, I'm mandated by law to report child abuse to the authorities when I see it. In fact, what is the definition of child abuse? It is the intentional exposure of a child to the risk of injury or harm or damage. Knowing what we know today, we wouldn't give a child a stick of cigarette to smoke, but we would put on a helmet on the child's head, send him out to a field to suffer sub-concussions and concussions. Now tell me, which is more dangerous? A stick of cigarette, a concussion of the brain. So knowing what we know today in the 21st century, we are intentionally sending children out to suffer brain damage. If that is not child abuse, what is it? What is it? Children no. should play the non-contact sports that would en 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 enrich them, nourish them, give them give them their intelligence. Right. Well, he, not he, contact sports like, here's, like swimming. Here's Jack Brew. Jack, how long did you play in the NFL for? I played five years in the National Football League, but I started playing my first season of contact football at six years old in Texas. And so I've taken uh, a numerous hits. And Dr. Amalu, I applaud you for all your work. You have changed uh, the biggest sport in America, and I think you shed light uh, to a lot of families and people, including myself. So I want to thank you for that. But what's thank next? You so much. What? Where do we go from here? Does, does the Surgeon General step in here at, at some point? Um, you know, I, I, don't, I, I know from a, a legal perspective, there has to be some ramifications coming, more ramifications coming down the line. And you just see so many players now uh, are, are retiring early. Uh, I've led numerous con concussion panels, and uh, we've actually did, did, did things at the United Nations and, and across the board. So 
it's out there now. If you're playing professional football, you're playing college sports, you know what CTE means. Uh, when I used to get hit, if you didn't have the smelling salt out and they didn't wake you up, you were told it wasn't a concussion. What changes now? What do you see next? What are the next steps for the game of football? The next step for the game of football is that as time goes on, children will stop playing. And uh, this is not about the NFL. The NFL is a corporation. But what calls to mind is, to me, is the model of Tesla. And that was why I gave my book, the title, Truth Doesn't Have a Side. It is in the interest of every industry to recognize the truth for what it is. There is no alternative truth. There is no perspective to truth. Look at what Tesla did. They recognized the truth of global warming. 10, 20 years ago, other automobile brands were laughing at uh, Mr. Musk. He embraced the truth, developed a solution for it. I just bought my own Tesla a couple of weeks ago. And I bet you, in another 5, 10 years, Tesla is going to become the predominant brand on the road. The NFL should do the same thing. All this denial, all this development of alternative facts, we are relying on data, we're doing this stuff out there. It is very well established over the centuries, right from 400 BC, the time of Hippocrates, that there is no safe blow to the human head. Every repetitive blow could cause damage. All it takes to damage your child's brain is one season of football, just one concussion. Wow. Dr. Bennett, so, one last question before you leave. I got to ask you this because I've always wanted to. If you're a player like myself or you're a person that's played football uh, and you've had numerous concussions, or is there anything that you can do to help yourself or to slow down the CTE progress? Unfortunately, the truth is inconvenient. There is no cure. We need, we need to begin from that. Once the injury has occurred, there is no cure. However, you should go to maybe a specialist center, many times a university hospital, with a comprehensive traumatic brain injury program. There are certain drugs and uh, micronutrients like curcumin, turmeric, and other micronutrients that could help enhance your brain health. So seek professional help and specialized help. Dr. Panet Amalo, thanks very much for your insights. The truth is important, and we appreciate you. Uh coming on the program to discuss it. Thank you for your incredible work, Doctor. Thank you so much. Bless Dr. You. Bennett Amalo, and what he just said was pretty striking. If, you're, if you are having your child play any contact sport, that means football, ice hockey, boxing, wrestling, you are 100% exposing your child to brain damage. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah.